What's up guys? I'm Chris with MHK Music Scene. I'm with the Box Turtles right now. Could you guys introduce yourselves for me? My name is Max Byram. I sing vocals and play guitar. My name is Alex Paul. I play drums and I also sing some. My name is Chris Siegel and I like to party. Oh, I play bass. <laughs> Spencer McConaughey and I play the guitar and I sing. And I'm terrible because I forgot to introduce my beautiful co-host over here. This is Q. Yes. Wave. Hi. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I want to start out by asking, like, at what point in your lives did you decide that this is what you wanted to pursue? Like, you're like music. This is what I want to do. I think for I can speak for me and Alex here that uh, in high school we started a band together. And, uh, you know, by senior year, we kind of decided that music was what we want to pursue. Um, unfortunately, it doesn't always pay the best. So, you know, we followed other careers in the food industry and uh, it's worked out well for us both. And we've been able to balance that. Uh, if you guys want to. Um, I'd been living with Alex for a while and saw all the fun that they were having and tried to jump on board with them. Um, been together with the group now for about five or six years and love playing music knew a long time ago that i like idolized a whole bunch of rock stars and things like that out there um never thought i'd be able to play music with a live band but loving it love doing it it's my turn okay yeah, i was like 15 i saw somebody in high school playing guitar and singing that i didn't even know did that and i was already playing other musical instruments so i was like i think i could probably play the guitar and i just i knew right then that I just wanted to do that for a long time. And as you get older, you see how much money you can make out of it and make money other ways and do all that. So I've just kind of joined these guys in the last three months and I really enjoyed it. Um, yeah, looking forward to it. So I know that you guys are called the Box Turtles now, but have you guys had other names before the Box Turtles? <laughs> yeah, okay. So our first band, we were Anonymous Interaction, and we called ourselves that because we used to get on Omegle and oh, Chat Roulette, oh. a lot of dicks we there. Pra- we would practice. Well, we would practice, and some people would listen and give us a thumbs up. Other people would show us their genitalia, you know, a lot of, a lot of interesting things there. But that's where Alex and I first started as a band, and then, yeah. uh, and then um, eventually we started Call It A Night um, uh, up in Concordia. Yeah, yeah, we started Call It A Night up in Concordia, and we've... Uh, gained and lost a few members since then, but uh, we've kind of kept the same template, just hard rock uh, and touring around Kansas. But I know Spencer, he's been in a couple other groups. So. Uh, yeah, I was in a band in high school, what, maybe like the Tripods or something like that. It changed all the time. It was a variation of that name and then got up here and settled in with a couple guys. We're Parallel Path and I'm in Betty the Astronaut now as well. Um, in and out of a couple bands, but yeah, Box Turtles is uh, a fun thing. Like Chris was in Lockdown. Or yeah, when I was in middle school, I had a, a sweet garage band called Lockdown. L O K. L O K D O W. And the logo was a padlock there. inside of a jail cell. Because <laughs> I was in middle school. <laughs> I like that as the explanation. Middle school, man. It's <laughs> middle school. So why the box turtles, though? Like, what? What's the meaning? Yeah, we took a vote. We took, yeah, we took a vote, and the majority still lost because one member refused to be called Saznak, which, which is Kansas yeah. backwards. <clears throat> we are the There's also a Saznak in Topeka. It's a strip club. It a strip it's been around forever. <laughs> but we were hoping that would kind of help us. But one guy refused to be that band. So. Uh, Box Turtles was kind of the middle ground. We're all from Kansas. You know, the, the turtle aspect kind of fits our personality. Um, you know, we had started an LLC four years ago, and uh, at that time there was another band called Call Tonight, so we had to change it. We had, for legality reasons, we had to change our name, go with something that uh, hasn't been picked up yet. So um, it seems to have been a good fit. Chris does a great job marketing and doing our designs and stuff. It's a real easy template to work around, and, you know, like I said, it kind of fits our personalities in a sense. Yeah. All right, so what, how would you describe, like, your style of the band, the music you play? Uh, general rock, we like to say we're American rock because we, uh, we hit a few different genres between blues, 
jazz um, and uh, funk. You know, we have a, a lot of elements of everything. You know, we even get to a little bit of psychedelic rock, like Pink Floyd style. You know, pop we've got, sometimes. Yeah, sometimes we're kind of poppy. We've got a country. lot of a lot of different influences. Yeah, we even bring some country into the mix. Um, so it's kind of a hard thing to put a thumb down on, but just general rock. Okay, right on. And you guys have, how long has this been a band? How many years? Five? Yeah. So how would you say your style has evolved since then? Just gotten tighter. Yeah? Just closer as a group? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, just through, between, you know, friendships and adding in Spencer, adding in him gives us a totally new sound. We have another strong vocalist, um, you know, so it really opens up a lot of doors uh, to where it takes a little pressure off of me as a lead singer where Alex and Spencer can, can handle a few songs and it's really, really nice. And a lot of, lot of we, all, we all pitch in on songs. You know, usually one person will come to the group with a song they wrote and then we'll all write our individual parts. And, uh, you know, that's just something really cool that we've, we've been doing since the start is uh, we don't really have expectations of what the other person plays. We just expect them to come up with their own part, and everybody's filled their shoes so far, so it's going well. Yeah, that's awesome. So you've got a little, you've got a thing going, a method, and it works out. That's awesome. Okay. So what drives you guys to continue with the music and to continue to work on perfecting your craft? It's just fun. Yeah. You know, I mean, it's like chasing a dream. Yeah. You know, you want to succeed, do well, and have fun all at the same time, like, it's a lot harder to have a nine to five job that's also like your dream or something. So this is the dream that we pursue, I think a lot more so than just working. Yeah, I don't have anything to do right. yeah. It's like I co-sign on that, that's great. So do you guys have like any other passions or hobbies outside of music? Uh, I run a small bar and grill, but with that, we do live music every Friday down in Council Grove, and, you know, I love being able to, to book my friends' bands, you know, my first grade teacher come and plays all the time, and all it's just time. so cool that I get to have people like that, my grandpa comes and plays, and I yeah. think just at, from a venue side, you know, it's such an honor to be able to, to help other musicians, and I think everybody here really does a good job at supporting other bands and stuff, and so... You know, there's a lot to go with music besides just performance. You know, we just got done building a studio that we've all worked on and uh, created. And, you know, so that's a new aspect that we're uh, we're pursuing right now. Um, you know, Alex, you're really passionate about food. If you yeah, know. I went to culinary school and my dad was a chef. And, uh, yeah, I've, I'm currently working at a restaurant in Wichita and uh, just had a menu change the other day. So, yeah, I mean, still... Loving the uh, the whole food scene, yeah. but yeah, food is, yeah. Music, and for some great. reason, food and music go together. It's yeah. the creativity yeah. thing. It's the taking the elements of everything and making it one thing. Yeah, hosting events and stuff. You gotta have hospitality, food. You gotta have music. Yeah. pleasing yeah. people, making rum hams, making rum <laughs> ham. Good. Right. We made rum ham for Thanksgiving. That's awesome. Bandsgiving, bands is good. And the week, the week before Thanksgiving, we do bandsgiving. Yeah, we made a rum ham, and it's kind of been a tradition. Mm -hmm. All right, so I know that you guys participated in K State's Opus Battle of the Bands was 2018. How was that? Yeah. Oh, more than once. We did it two years in a row. Duh. We got second. Oh yeah. Yeah. So we did it two times. Uh, the first time we performed in it, we got second place. And then the second time we performed, we got first place. I like it. That's awesome. Chris almost got in a fight with the sound guy. <laughs> yeah, it was very close. The closest I've ever been to a fist fight. You're about to throw hands? Uh, he approached me and did like this. You know. So uh, we showed up and started. We were the last band to perform. And uh, I had my bass amp plugged in, and then I turned it on, um, and one of the techs, not the real sound guy, one of the techs went up and tried to unplug it and plug it in somewhere else, but it was already on, so he unplugged it and fried the bass amp. So I had to, like, send the bass amp back in to get a new one. Uh, well, then we were on stage, and I was like, I don't know why this isn't working. Like, it was working 10 seconds ago. 
Uh, we totally scrapped the set list. Right. A totally new set list on the spot. On the spot. <laughs> well, then I was, I was like, in the mic, I was like, I need a DI. I need to plug my bass in direct into the system. Uh, and after a little while, they come up and plug it in, um, but I couldn't hear myself at all. Well, then, after a little bit of frustration, the actual sound guy comes up, and I was a little salty. I was like, this is pathetic. <laughs> Which well, I understand. You are pathetic. I said, you are pathetic. <laughs> Which I understand. That's not nice and everything. But I was stressed. We were all stressed. Um, at the end of the set, I said something along the lines of, like, it shouldn't take a professional sound engineer ten minutes to plug one instrument in. That was pathetic. He didn't like it. He, like, squared up, like, nose to nose. And I just stood there like, hit me. Hit me in front of all these people in this little room. Let's see where this goes. And then afterwards, I had to tell the whole band. I was like, please follow me outside. Because I think, I think this guy is going to follow me and really try to beat me down. <laughs> but it, he didn't, and we got first we place. First. <laughs> All right. Well, that was not the best experience. But are there any venues that you guys, have, that you guys really just enjoy playing? Uh, I think our favorite so far is Wheaton, right? Yeah. So every year no, there's yeah. this huge party that's in a gymnasium. And it's just a, it's a shit show. Honestly, it's a huge party that these people host. Uh, last year, this guy dressed up as the Pope and uh, got his ass kicked. <laughs> <laughs> the year before that was the year that I went. I couldn't make it the second year. The year before that, I went, and it was snowing, and there were like six fights that broke out in the it's, snow. It's Big insane. Fights. It's just insane. It's a huge No brawl, one brings like, water. Project people X. Down, there was way more beer nuts. than water. There were yeah. people just dressed up in robes and socks. Yeah, in the Borat <laughs> costume, you know, just crazy stuff. So I think that's probably... It's the most fun. It's, it's the it's funnest. So much fun. Fun. I think it's safe to say that that would probably be the most fun. Right. A lot going on, but a lot of good, good stuff. Yeah. Times 10. Oh, wow. That's intense. I like it. I might have to I might have to check this out. Yeah, let me know when the next one is. We broke a hole. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we broke a lot of holes in the wall. <laughs> they That's said, okay. That was a stipulation that they hired us the second year. They're like, but you can't bust a bunch of holes in the wall again. We're like, okay, I guess. You know. It was a little hole. Fair enough. It became a big hole. <laughs> okay. <laughs> she said, oh, wow. I have to edit that one out. <laughs> Anyways, um, <laughs> so about your music, where can we find it? Uh, we're, uh, we released an album last May. It's on Spotify, Google Music, iTunes, YouTube. Um, YouTube. Uh, it's titled Slow March. Um, we record that down in Wichita. I had a great experience with a guy named Miles Purple Hay Studio. Uh, but like I said, we just uh, got done building the studio and we hope to uh, record our next album there. And uh, hopefully within the next few months have something out again. All our merch can be uh, bought on Facebook, and we will like hand mail it. You know, like package it and everything. All Chris the does a little drawing all the stuff that we mail out. I do like a personalized little letter. You know, things like that. So it's always fun. Okay. Oh, hey, oh, okay. I think uh, tomorrow, Dairy Queen has half price blizzards all day. Yeah. So visit Dairy Queen, your local Dairy Queen. Get out of here. Support Get local here. businesses. Get out of here. Thank you for that. <laughs> Appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys have any other big plans besides more music in 2020? That's it? Just keep on keeping on. Keep yeah. on keeping on. All right. Well, we're, going to, I, we're going to Dr. Dog together. Yeah, we're going to do a, our what is that? concert as a band. Uh, we've been talking about it forever, just going to a, a, a big concert as a band, as a whole. Just, you know, doing some bonding, you know, outside. It's really important to do that. Just as bandmates and friends, you know, and uh, yeah, we're so yeah we're going nice. to see uh, Doctor Dog in Kansas City. Uh, it's been a musical influence for all of us, so really stoked for that. That's awesome. It sounds exciting. Well, thanks, guys. I appreciate you, you. you giving guys. me your time. It was awesome. <laughs> and can you guys give me like your social media handles? Yeah, we got Instagram and Facebook. Instagram and Facebook. Um, yeah, just pictures and, and stuff. And all of uh, the whole albums. The whole album's on YouTube. Um, I'm pretty sure at the Box Turtles or at the Box Turtles Music, one of the two. It's on um, iTunes, it's on Spotify. Right, all those things. Um, but our, our main source of social media is going to be Facebook, and then the subsidiary of that is going to be Instagram. Thank you, guys. And don't forget to check out our social media. It's uh, MHK Music Scene, uh, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. Check us out. <laughs>